Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Lolly, and you all know by now how much I love eyelets. Especially if you've seen these two videos so far, the one about how to set perfect eyelets, and my other video on 10 amazing uses for eyelets, and I also have a video on how to use the Crocodile Big Bite exclusively. So I do adore eyelets. I use them a lot. I also use paper hole reinforcers that kind of look like eyelets, and that would be like Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, hole reinforcers die sets, which I have those both of those sets in my shop right now. But I want to show you how to make this, which is these faux eyelets. It's not really an eyelet, but it's glossy, it's beautiful, and it matches your project. So if you don't have all the colors, and you know you can't find eyelets in all the colors, you can do this, and that is to use your Nuvo Drops. So here's what you can do. You have your hole, you just take your Nuvo Drops and you draw a circle around there. Nuvo Drops are leveling, self-leveling. So what, if you're looking at it sideways, whatever is high, whatever is low, it all levels down flat amongst itself. It will not, however, spread beyond the border in where you put it. So if you look at this one, you can see that my drawing isn't perfect. So what I did for these ones is that I will show you right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so on these, I found the best way to make the perfect dimension on here is to use a paper reinforcer yourself. We Are Memory Keepers makes this, which is a, a hole reinforcer, and this is a punch. And so you can glue that on there, or you can use two punches that you have and just cut punch one and punch another hole in the middle of that and use that. You can use dies such as this. Um, and they also have, like at office supply stores, they have hole reinforcers that are stickers. And the purpose of that is to have a template so you can see where to put the Nuvo. So I'm just putting these on here now. And again, these are just guidelines to know where to put those Nuvo drops. So could you just draw a circle around it? You could, but then you'd have to make sure that you covered up your pencil mark completely with the Nuvo. And I just want to say, I love this one. If you can see that, this one is the, this is the Dream Drops in Cloud Nine. I love this one. So let's put these aside. I also want to say that the glitter ones are a little harder to, to get. They don't self-level as well. They're thicker, so it makes it harder. You really want a free-flowing liquid Nuvo drop. This is one of my favorite colors, but um, I didn't have the lid on right once, and so what happens is it ends up being very thick and gummy, and so it won't self-level, and so it looks clumpy like this and will not look good as a faux eyelet. So let's use one of the Aroma Drops that I use. This is the one I used here, which is the Strawberry. Let's grab a different one out. Let's use this one. And this one is the Vanilla. Okay. If you are left-handed, you want to do these so you can see on the right side of where you're going. If you're right-handed, you want to do it this way so you can see here. I want to see the very edge of this hole reinforcer so I can see if I'm getting right up against it. That's my goal. And then I'm gonna keep moving this around as I go. I just love, because Nuvo Drops come in a variety of colors, I love how I can match these to my project. So now when you've got that done, all you need to do is to fill in the center. And I'm not even squeezing now, I'm just kind of basically pulling it in there. And voila, again, that is self-leveling. I'm going to set that aside and let that dry and I wanna show you, oh, you know what? I wanna show you something else. So I'm gonna flip this over. Here's something else you can do with, if you don't have the, the eyelets and you want to do a floral because I have flower shaped eyelets and I love them but you can't always uh, find a flower shaped eyelet so here's an, a way around that I'll show you on the back of this I'm going to make a dot but just a dot isn't big enough so I'm going to make a big circle here 
and on the other side of that. It doesn't necessarily have to touch the um, the hole punch. Now I'm going to do two in between and I want them not to touch each other. There's a reason for that because if they touch each other it's just going to be a goopy mess. I want them to be separate. But now what I'm going to do is to draw a line right around the very opening here of my hole and that's the only place they are going to connect. And I am squeezing the tube just a little bit. Well, my very first one does not look very pretty, so I'm adding a little extra on there. And so what you get is a little tiny flower, which can look like this when it's all dried. They are so fun. So let me show you again. There's that one. And let me bring these other ones back in here. I have, this is the Limoncello. It's the really translucent yellow. It is so pretty on that yellow, black on black. There's the glitter, but again, the glitter is very hard to, to get it to be smooth. This one is, it reminds me of pea soup. It is olive branch on an olive paper. And I showed you the cloud nine already. Here's another glitter. And there is this beautiful pink one that's also Dream Drops. The Dream Drops are so pretty, and this is Love Potion. They just have a very shimmery look to them. Aren't they beautiful? So they are so fun. Here is my fresh one. Here's my other one here. And my two flowers. I need to fix, I can tell I need to add a little bit more to the petal right over here, and then it's gonna be really cute. I will give you the links down below to Nouveau Drops, and if you haven't tried them, you're in for a treat. So generally, Nouveau, uh, Nouveau Drops, you just make little dots here and there, but there are way more uses for it than that. And the colors are just phenomenal. So many possibilities. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you for watching, everyone.